To create this design, you need to delete this cube and you need to add a UV sphere. Then scale this UV sphere along the Z axis and then rotate it into the 90 degree. Turn on the wireframe, go to the edit mode and select these faces. You need to calculate words at here. So that's why turn on this statistics option. There are 16 words and you need to add a 16 word cylinder. We will use this cylinder as a cutter object. Then rotate the cylinder and scale down it. Give the right position and right scale. And then select both the objects and use the boolean operation difference. Then duplicate this cutter object and scale down it and scale it along the x axis. Then select both the cutter objects and use the boolean operation difference. Move the inner cutter object along the y axis. So you can get this kind of flat design. And then you need to apply this boolean modifier. Then delete this cutter objects. Here you need to properly connect the words from the outer side. So that's why you need to start to merge the words properly. So you can get good topology at there. So just select these words and then merge at last or connect vertex pair. Use anything and just create a right loop structure, right topology. After that select everything and take the symmetry, mesh symmetrites. Then you need to delete these faces. Then take the symmetry along the y axis also. Like this so you can get the same design to the back side. Then you can select this face loop and then delete it. Then select these edge loops and then right click breach edge loop. Same thing from the front side also. And you will get this kind of design. That looks really well. Then you can select these edge loops and then control B add bevel on them. I am facing the little bit difficulty with the bevel. So I need to check the face orientation. And here you can see our face orientation is wrong. So select everything and then recalculate the normal and recalculate outside so you can get right face orientation. Then control A and apply the scale on the model and then you can select these each loops and then add bevel on them. Add two segment bevel and shape factor should be one. And give the proper bevel width. And that looks really well. You can add few more loop cuts. Now just go to the edit mode, select everything and mesh symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the y axis so you can get the same design to the back side. And then you can add a sub modifier to check the smoothness of the model. And it looks really well. After that you need to rotate this object into the 45 degree angle and then apply this rotation. Then go to the edit mode, select everything and mesh symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the x and y axis. I think x and z axis. So you can get 4 boolean designs at there. And you can see we have got this kind of design which looks really well. Then you need to select the center faces and use the insert operation. Then control X to dissolve these edges and then right click breach edge loop. Then scale down this. Then you can select these edge loops and then control V add a bevel on them. Now that looks really well and now we will transform the design to cool looking design. Then you need to take the symmetry here. So you can get the same design to the both side front and back and you can see the topology and it looks really well. Now we are going to transform this design. So that's why you need to select this edge loops and then scale down them in this way. Then deselect the center edge loops from all the side and then add a bevel on it. Add two segment bevel and shape factor should be one. Then select this edge loop with the shift select. And then control B add bevel on it. Add two segment bevel and shape factor should be one. And you can see it is looking really well. Then you need to add two loop cuts at here. Select this face loop and then scale this face loop along the y axis and give the value zero. So you can get this kind of flat look and we can create this kind of cool looking design. Just adjust the scale a little bit. Yeah, that looks really well. Then dissolve this each loop. And then you can select these edge loops and then add a bevel on them. Add two segment bevel, shape factor should be one. And you can see I have got that inner ring design at there which looks really well. Then you can select these inner face loops with a shift select and shift D to duplicate it and then press P for the selection to make a different object. 
now we will create the inner part just select these edges and then press F to fill the gap like this then here I need to add some loop cuts add few loop cuts add loop cuts with the same count and then select this edge and then press F to fill the gap then you can dissolve these edge loops in this way that looks really well just take the symmetry and then you can select this edge loop and then press F to fill the gap then use the insert operation and you can see we have got the inner design you can play with the design and you can create anything select these faces and then use the insert operation on them just to create one loop structure from the inner side in this way and you can see that looks really well but we are facing little bit of gap at there so that's why I need to add loop cuts like this so add three loop cuts everywhere and now you can see now it looks really well now work on this design I'm going to select these faces with the shortest path selection and select faces at here also and then use the insert operation in this way and then scale down this like this and now you can see that looks really well just select these edges with the shift select and then control B add bevel on them add two segment bevel and shift factor should be one and now you can see I have got this decent looking design which add more details then you need to take the symmetry so you can get the symmetrical design and now you can see it looks really well here select the face and use the insert operation and then you need to use the loop tool circle option and create a simple looking boolean design at there in this way you can create this kind of design which looks really well you need to play with the basic form you need to use the simple operations to create amazing looking design so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel bye bye so next video take care